Fall we've grown we've Nanny Bong, I'm Engineer Hoist, and welcome to our weekly Transformers Earth Wars news stream. Uh, let's give a shout out to all of you folks who've uh, arrived early. Uh, first off, I want to shout out to Luke, one of our channel members. If you uh, want to join him as a channel member, you can hit that join button and if you're able to help support the stream. Um, but also to Optimus Prime, Grand Galvatron, uh, Grover Wave, Blurimus Prime, I have Devin PV. Uh, Reaper Shadow. I, it's hard to read when you put numbers in your uh, name. <laughs> Kim David Collins, Chris Dodds, SG Soundwave, Brian Meredith, and a whole lot more. Uh, Boss Man, LB Green, and I saw Super VH and um, Big Bronze Rim were here. So thank you all uh, for being here. Thank you for subscribing, Optimus Prime. Somehow you even got a picture of yourself in that notification. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're here to talk about Transformers Earth Wars. We're going to go over the news. It's a it's a light news day, and then I got a whole bunch of crystals to crack. It was VIP crystals uh, came out this uh, this week, so we got a bunch of those. Uh, they gave us extra because of the uh, anniversary. Plus, I did get a couple of bundles on the Autobot account. Uh, so we'll do quick news, then we'll jump into crystal cracking, and then you never know where the stream's going to go. We always hang out afterwards, uh, so I hope you hang out with us. And um, let's go ahead and get to it. This weekend's event is called Dangerous Goods. This is the first in the uh, the first event in the saga, which will lead up to the new bots, who we do not know who are who they are yet, um, but uh, we'll find out at some point. Um, take part in this weekend's event to win up to uh, three. 500,000 troop XP items, 20 million energon and alloy, 10,000 premium shards, 3,000 three star shards, 1,000 four star shards, a war for Cybertron skin core, and 50,000 of each of the spark, combiner spark, and combat spark. If you've been playing for a while, it should be pretty familiar to you. We've uh, been seeing this uh, particular event uh, the last uh, uh, few months. This is an individual event. It's one big prize board. It starts at the usual Friday start time, ends at the usual uh, Monday stop time. And thank you for the subscription. I'm sorry I didn't catch the uh, name written on top of the other words there. Uh, one big prize board, triple XP throughout the event. You have to be headquarters four, which is very easy to obtain even if you start right now. Do not have to be an alliance. That's the benefit of the individual alliances. But the way you play the event is the same way you always play the event. You hit that yellow event button, pick your zone, pick your battle and win the points win the prizes the event battle zones are the standard battle zones and here is a summary of the prizes if you hit 10,000 points you will have collected everything on this list 
Uh, they do have some total spark crystals if you go past 10,000 up to 30,000. Um, but uh, 10,000 is the main event. Um, uh, unless you're like just starting out, uh, it's, this is pretty achievable for most people if you put in a little bit of effort and uh, without having to spend any money on fuel or cooldowns. Like I said, unless you're really just starting out. And if you do happen to go beyond 10,000 and hit, get those uh, total spark crystals, here's what you'll find in there. 5,000, 7,500, or 10,000 of any of the three types of spark and an equal chance for any of that to drop. We've been seeing these total spark crystals for quite a while now. They're pretty popular, so I don't think they're going anywhere for a while. And uh, like I said, light news stream, uh, light light news day. Uh, we stream Wednesdays 8 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. There's the link if you happen to be watching somewhere else and want to go there. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Engineer Hoist for infrequent behind the scenes content. That's it. Very, very quick news day. There, there was really nothing else. There was some uh, bug updates, but I don't usually report on those. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, so um, one of the things that, one of the types of crystals that we're going to be cracking, we've got crystals for Autobots and Decepticons. We'll be cracking uh, crystals for Bird Brain and Bug Boy, or, uh, you know, Silverbolt or Cicadacon. So how did you guys do? Let us know in the in the chat. How, how did you guys do? Did you manage to pull the uh, four star, the three star, or uh, just a bunch of shards? If, if you get just one set of shards, you can at least pull the two star. Uh, so hopefully you got at least that. Uh, that's what I always hope for. Uh, at least if I can get the two star, I'll walk away not completely disappointed. Three star, four star, obviously uh, uh, pretty pretty nice there. So uh, Grant Galvatron got a three star. Uh, Risk got uh, says Zilch just a three star. Well, that's a three star is pretty good. Uh, I didn't even get the three star um, Prowl um, that when when we got that. I only ended up with the two star. Uh, Silverbolt got a uh, four-star bug, but not a, not the bird. Um, Soundwave got uh, got the uh, bird and bug in three-star and two-star. Cool. Volcanic has got three stars. Uh, Big Bronze Rim got uh, <laughs> didn't get a four-star, but I got eleven three-stars. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys finished the event, so that was out of a hundred crystals. I've only got twenty-one on the Autobot account and nineteen on the Decepticon account. So we'll we'll see how how we. Uh, do uh, definitely not uh, had the, the luck the past few times let's see grind time pulled the hat trick two three and four star and he got the four star with one of the last crystals all right got the uh you know ringing the bell ding ding <laughs> that's always uh that's one of the things i always hope for it's like when you got okay we're down to the last crystal and i'm really hoping just to be surprised by that last crystal it, it, um, i don't think it's ever worked out I have got them on the first crystal, though. I'll never forget that Alita one. First time I bought that bundle, first crystal, bam, came the four star. Uh, I'm sure sure you guys have heard that before, but yeah. Quentin Hager, another one of our uh, channel members uh, joining in, got the, uh, got a three star and uh, plans to use him as a Zed Energon farmer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. Silverbolt has a great mustache, says Super VH. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All right, how about how about we go and uh, crack, go ahead and get started on uh, cracking these crystals here, since we got got quite a few of them to go to. So congratulations to everybody out there who managed to get a three star or a four star or even a two star. Um, hopefully, I can share in some of your luck. Um, let's actually go ahead and get those out of the way. We'll see if we can get the uh, silver bolt, and then we'll switch over to Decepticon account. See if we can get the uh, Cicadacon. And then we'll move on to the rest of the uh, types of crystals. So we'll do the, um, see, I've got 21 here. We'll do the uh, times 10, and we'll save that last one for that final crystal to see if we can do, uh, pull off uh, magic like grind time if we don't get them early. So we've got, we got a little bit of a pause. Okay, we're going to three stars. All right. Right out of the gate, we got the three stars. So we're already better than the uh, Prowl Crystals. Very cool. Optimus Prime's asking who's the third part going to be for Magna Boss? Uh, well, for the for Magna Boss, uh, for the Autobots, it will be Ironhide, who is an elephant. Um, and for Tripredicus, it's Sea Clamp, who is a lobster for the Decepticons. All right, so looks like those empty ones were the shards. So we got two sets of the shards, 
and a three star silver bolt very cool we'll go ahead and finish cracking the rest of these crystals maybe we'll get lucky and get the four star if not i consider getting the three star an absolute win so very happy with that already <laughs> hey gav <Gaff> tried <laughs> it's a rock lobster <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Big Bronze Room. Ironhide is uh, pretty pretty awesome. It's a really crazy looking uh, character. Okay, so we got nothing but shards out, out of that one. We will do this last one and see what we what we do. And it was not magic like grind time, but we did get the three stars, so I'm happy. I'm happy about that. All right, so let, let me go ahead and um, you guys are talking about Ironhide. I got him right here. <laughs> get ready for this there he is big mean elephant he's got the tusks and then uh look at that face if you, we can even uh get his tusk out of the way he's mean and snarling he is angry but uh yes indeed that that's that's the iron hide that will be coming at some point uh i don't think he's going to be this saga uh, I've been wrong before, but I don't think he's going to be this saga, but he will be coming at some point. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> and, and even in the elephant mode, he's got angry eyes, so, so, yeah, he's been very cool, um, very, very cool, uh, figure. Alright, let's we'll switch it over here. And like I said, we got 19 Cicada Kong crystals. See if we can uh, at least match the uh, three star. Now we did get a three star Ram Horn from the last event on this account, so that would be cool. That would, if I could get the three star Cicada Kong on this one, that would put me uh, two bots towards tri the three star Tripredicus there. <laughs> Xavier, does this uh, Ironhide have anger issues? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He's, he might just be fine with his anger. <laughs> he, he probably doesn't consider it an issue at all. <laughs> okay, looks like we just got some shards so far, and that's not anywhere near enough for the three star uh, yet, but uh, we still got nine crystals to go through. Um, if I can get at least three more sets of those shards, it's, that would put me at 500, right? So that then I can use the shards for the three star. See, that was the thing. I didn't even get the shards for Prowl last time. Which was uh, disappointing. Very disappointing. Looks like we might be heading down this road here. Okay, so that, that's what, three of them? Wonder if Elephant Ironhide has an accent like G1. You know, I don't think he was ever portrayed in a cartoon. I think he was only, I'm not even sure if they were in comics. They might've been in some some comics, but they, they definitely weren't in any kind of cartoon. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have shards to get Cicada Con. So we'll, we'll, we'll just go ahead and, uh, let's see, back down out of here, go down to the, uh, the uh, missing, the MIA. Um, oh, look, I have enough for a three star exhaust. Might as well go ahead and grab that while I can. I can get a two star Cicada Con. And uh, I think I already did the two star Ram Horn, so I don't. Well, I must not have it actually because uh, he's there waiting for me. So, oh well. We'll do that. We'll do that another time. All right, so we'll go ahead and finish off the Decepticon crystals since we're here. Uh, they said we've got uh, some crystals we can claim. Uh, we'll go ahead and claim the free one because I don't want to grind time to have his OCD because I know he hasn't said, has said that before. So we'll go ahead and grab these a uh, few more premium crystals. Oh, I should have come in there from the other, uh, from the space bridge. Then I wouldn't have to go through all these uh, confirmations. Uh, yeah. John Pollock says, got to fight my con account. Very cool. How'd you do? Red alert. What's going on, man? All right. So we'll do the uh, free crystal. 
3,000 spark, I like it. Although I'm pretty close to max on the spark on this account. I need to, I need to get some, uh, uh, I need, need to collect more energon because I need to start leveling some uh, abilities. I've been doing that as much as I can. So there is three star exhaust who can wait in the long line uh, because I've got all those four star pods from uh, the other week that I'm still working on. Although I've done pretty good with that Lugnut. It took Lugnut. He's pushing 50 already. Mostly because I, I've, I've rushed him and he's been helping uh, power level the others. And here's our two-star Cicadacon, so we can at least see him on screen. Oh, look at him with his little flappy wings. That's what he's, he's buzzing. So, yeah, there he is. All right, so now I'm basically even on the two accounts. I have one of the three stars, one of the two stars. Uh, so, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, we have a gold chip. This was from... I think this was from the VIP. Point defense beam, I'm pretty sure I have a G-Metal headquarters core for when the time comes. So that will be food. Got a three-star crystal, which is a duplicate ripper snapper. Blurmus Prime, thanks for suggesting to get a Snapdragon. Yeah, it's a good figure. I actually still have him right here from when he was one of our uh, featured characters, because I, I guess I just don't put anything away <laughs> on this desk. Uh, but yeah, he's a, he's a good little figure. Um, let's uh, enable the uh, times 10 and go through these premium crystals. Likely to be Dupe City. And, uh, but, yeah, we'll see. And you know, if you were a channel member, you would be able to spam me with Dupe City emojis right now. <laughs> which, which would be funny, but that's fine. Uh, Optimus Prime says, at least I have a uh, four star scatter shot. Indeed, I do. means I also have four-star Computron now. Uh, Big Bronze Room says, A high-level Snapdragon is looking like a new Lagoon leveling bot. Yeah, you know, I, I've just got the three-star Snapdragon on my Decepticon account. I think I have him at level 40 right now, and uh, he, he he holds his own pretty good. I, I'm, liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing with Snapdragon. So that was all two-star Dupe City there. So yeah, I definitely would like to uh, see a four-star Snapdragon come through the space pretty for me on either one of my accounts. So, but yeah, I, I've, been, I've been getting good use out of the three-star. Oh, we're getting a new one. Three stars. Play more. Cool. Go pop some outposts. Yeah, the range is, is uh, amazing. Alright, so mostly two-star Dupe City, but we did pull that three-star Flame War, so that's nice. That was a ni nice little uh, round of uh, premium crystals there. Shadow. There's a dupe three star Storm Shadow. I mean Skywarp Night Raven. <laughs> Megatron. Storm Shadow. Oh boy, we're just gonna be getting Storm Shadow, Storm Shadow. <laughs> Crush them! <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, what four stars am I missing on the Autobot account? Not many. That's why I get duplicates a lot, because there's not many that could actually come pop out of the uh, crystal. Deploy. Oh, there's that ASMR. Deploy. Oh, we got a three star double dealer duplicate there, too. Cool. Yeah, I got him at four star uh, when I uh, claimed that starter bundle. Not super impressed with him. He's okay, but he's, he's uh, definitely not uh, top tier. Straxus. Crush them! Octopunch didn't even get a call out. Oh, I'm 
so happy with that lug nut. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I actually uh, created a lug nut Facebook page a bunch of years back. I didn't run it for very long before I uh, kind of gave up on it, but I did actually do a lug nut page. So when I say I like lug nut, I'm not kidding. It was just too hard to run two Facebook pages, so I just stuck with the engineer hoist. And then, then I pretty much transitioned over to YouTube because I wanted to do videos, and I haven't done much with the Facebook. Uh, it's still out there. Uh, I know some people have found it, but uh, I really don't do much with that Facebook page anymore. Crush them! Blur Miss Prime says he wants to see Blur in Transformers Earth Wars. I, I can see that, yeah. I mean, you, you t you've uh, taken on his name. I can see why you'd want to see him. <laughs> ben Crosby says, I don't even have one Facebook page. Oh, let's see, we got a three star blot there. And, uh. I'm not sure if I have a G1 Galvatron. But uh, I guess we can find out. So we've got six more premium crystals. And uh, Octo Punch. Hook. Oh, that's right, he doesn't do them when they're individual. How about Hardhead in the game? Yeah, that'd be a, that'd be a good one. Strong. Well, another three star duplicate. So, yeah, it was mostly Dupe City, but it wasn't all two stars. We had a few three stars sprinkled in there. I don't think I, we saw any four stars come past us, but uh, that's fine. And another three star Skywarp. And we do have a crystal to get, and it is another three-star crystal. And it is another three-star duplicate. Megatron! Alrighty. Oh, we've got Story from CicadaCon. No, I'm not him either. Blot, maybe? Or horrible? Now you're reaching Black Arachnia. Or perhaps trying to antagonize me, hmm? Perish the thought, Cicada Khan. We're just genuinely interested to know which Decepticon veteran you used to be. Aren't we, Dinobot? What have you done? And what is this thing on my back? I feel a strange dislocation. What have you done? And what... That is for me to know, Black Arachnia, and you to mind your own business. My Shannix is on Bugly. <laughs> Thematically speaking. What do you say, Dinobot? What have you done? And what is this thing on my back? I feel... No, Simply Tarantulas, that I am well known for my cruelty, cunning, and sheer lack of tolerance for insubordinate banter. Hey, there's no point making it your USB, uh, how you uh, use of your knowledge, how your use of your knowledge of Great War battles in there, in the here and now, if you don't want to rank and file speculating, is there? Oh boy, I really butchered that. Let me try that again. Hey, there's no point making it your USP, how your use of the knowledge of Great War battles in the here and now, if you don't want to rank and file speculating, is there? At the very least, Black Arachnia, show some deference to my position on the Tripredicus Council in the here and now. Quite. Apologize to our venerable elder, Black Arachnia. You too, Dinobot. What have you done? Totally saw that coming. <laughs> what is this thing on my back? I humbly withdraw my earlier intrusiveness. Hmm. Hey, did you used to be backfire? No! <laughs> <laughs> he finally finally gets them off of the uh, off his back, and then uh, um, <laughs> the others come around. Hey, hey! Oh boy! Yeah, horrible is an actual character. Uh, I think they did a Titan Master 
It might have called it Terrible. I can't remember. It was, it was just like the uh, Titan Master, like you know, like with that little tiny, uh, with that with that tiny vehicle that they came with. It was just the head, but uh, they they did put one of those out during the Titans Return line. Uh, pretty sure it was terrible, but it could have been horrible. But it, if it same character, it probably just had a name change for trademark reasons or something like that. So. All right, so let me let me go ahead and switch back over to the Autobot account somehow. Uh, it's not giving me the option to change the sound for some reason. There we go. LB Green, terrible was the name. Okay, I, I'm pretty. I, I was pretty sure they changed it. Okay, since we did get Silverbolt, and there was definitely a story with him, I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this. We'll get Silverbolt's story because I sometimes forget that there's a story with these, and then we'll come back and finish these crystals. Okay, for the last time, I'm not that Silverbolt. Ah, but given your origins and original name are shrouded in mystery, how do we know that for sure? Tall, multi-limbed, and lethal has a point. Your honorableness, given how liberally we Maximals and Predacons dip in and out of the timeline. Perhaps you are our Silverbolt, recreated as a Maximal Elder. Maybe you don't even know it yourself. And it's a patented Furman twist just waiting to happen, probably in about 20 sagas time, knowing him. <laughs> uh, breaking the fourth wall there, gotta love it. Ah, Cheetor, I can assure you that my relation to the Maximal you know or knew as Silverbolt is a name alone. But you would say that, wouldn't you? Just to maintain the inscrutable aura you so carefully cultivated. What are you even doing in this unlock Black Arachnia? Why aren't you over in Cicada Cons? Oh, I'm there too. I like to play both sides of the fence. It's just, well, some of your backstory, not to mention the twin Ion Swords, does have a familiar ring to it. Honorable, brave, a bastion of maximal virtues, etc. Clearly, Dinobot, it is the intention of you all to ruffle my feathers. And he means that literally. <laughs> Rest assured, in that regard, I am unflappable. Oh, more word puns. <laughs> hey, Silverbolt, you're not by any chance. No! <laughs> I'm not that Silverbolt either. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, gotta love the bird puns. Now we'll claim those crystals in a minute. I'm sure we'll have more once we get through all of this. All right, so we'll do this uh, gold gold uh, chip here. Everyone's getting on his nerves. They're getting on uh, <laughs> getting on uh, Cicada Con's nerves too. I do like the gold rejuvenate. That's a very useful core. Nice, uh, probably the best universal core out there. Uh, let's see, we'll do a three-star crystal, because what the heck, it's going to be a duplicate. Pretty sure I have all the three stars you could possibly get on the uh, on this Autobot account. And, um, oh my goodness, Luke, thank you so much. $100 Super Chat. It says, thank you for bringing the Transformers and Earth Wars community together since the beginning. It really means a lot in all the streams and videos since the beginning. I appreciate everything, Hoist. Dude, I appreciate you too, and I appreciate everybody else. Look at Jazz dancing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm not a dancer. Don't get used to that. But uh, it, w it was worth it <laughs> this time. Uh, yeah, oh my goodness, dude. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, and... Uh, and I say it pretty much every video. I do appreciate everybody showing up to the streams and comment, you know, in the in the chat, seeing the chat constantly flow. It was so 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 fast, so much that I can't even keep up with it half the time. And um, even commenting on the videos. Well, there's not a lot of commenting after the stream, but that's that's fine. Um, but uh, and I know there's a bunch of you out there watching, and you don't comment and you don't participate in the chat, and that's okay. I appreciate you watching too. I appreciate anybody who decides to tune in, even for however long, even for a few minutes, uh, um, 
to to watch any of these videos or streams. Thank you so much and all, and all of that. So, um, yeah, yeah. So thank you all. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't keep doing it if if, if it wasn't for you guys. Uh, you, you definitely, you know, there's there's been plenty of days where I've been kind of just really really tired. It's like, oh man, I just want to sit down and just rest or whatever, or just kind of feeling a little low or whatever. But uh, you guys, you guys, yeah, you know, I, I I can't let you down. So that's that's why I'm here every week. Um, and I just realized I was doing all of that up in the corner, <laughs> and I should have been on the full screen. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Thank you, Luke and everybody else for all the support over the years and uh, I have no plans to, to stop anytime soon so <laughs> all right um, yeah okay so let's get back to to the uh, crystal cracking hopefully that does bring us a little bit of luck uh, so I in addition to the VIP crystals and we just did all the silver boat crystals uh, there was a bundle for, uh, for six gun uh, over the weekend and there was a bundle for gold fire earlier and I was like yeah let's go ahead and do that I chose not to do the bundle with the beast, uh, beast Wars prowl and uh, I forget who else was in there like uh, I think it was snapdragon and hoist and grapple I'm done with hoist and grapple and uh, snapdragon I would like to see but that that's only like half of the bundle and uh, I figured I'd wait until um, we got more you know at some point, we're going to see a Beast Wars Prowl only bundle, or a Beast Wars Prowl and some combat bots or something. I'll chase him then. And at the very least, when Magna Boss decides to come out, I'll get, I can always go for a Magna Boss bundle. Uh, it's hard to get the four stars in those, but you can usually get the three stars. So that's why I chose not to get that one. Uh, but maybe we'll get a six gun or a, a gold fire. But I think we'll go ahead and crack these premiums first. And I'm sure... Yeah, the latest bundle is Drift, but I had one of those personalized bundles. These, the Six Gun and the Gold Fire were the personalized bundles. You know, if, if you're missing a four-star, they give you those personalized bundles. Uh, so someone was asking... Uh, sorry, I forget who... Uh, which of the four stars am I missing? Well, that's two of them right there. <laughs> Six Gun and uh, Gold Fire. That's why I got those bundles. Uh, so, oh, we've got lights flashing again. Denali Kid, thank you for the $5. I appreciate it so much. It says, good evening, Hoist. My apologies for being late. As always, great seeing you again, my friend. Uh, good Our news time. I would like to share. Share away, my friend. Share away. Okay, so what do we got? We got a, uh, we got a Jazz, a three-star Jazz, and he showed up to do another little dance. <laughs> Uh, and a bunch of two-star dupes. And we'll keep going with these uh, premium crystals. We got a Springer. Shoulder pads prime. Optimus prime. No shoulder pads prime. Dino three star Dinobot Optimus Prime. Slash Cliff Jumper. And we got one last call out for Cliff Jumper. Cliff Jumper with a shout out from the boss. Xavier Blackwood says, uh, I built the Scorponok in Minecraft, uh, standing at uh, Y equals 500. Uh, I guess that's his height. Took five months to build and made it based on Kingdom Scorponok against Omega. Very cool. Yeah, I agree, Luke. I wish that uh, Jazz Dance uh, showed up a little bit uh, sooner. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't, th I don't think there's anything I could do to control that. Grind time asking, did I get the super chat of $500? No, weird. Yeah. Now go ahead and uh, send it through again there, grind time. We'll, 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 we'll uh, get it, I'm sure, this time. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Four star cup duplicate. Working towards another five star. I appreciate the thought blur, Ms. Prime. Uh, please, please know it is not at all required or expected, but if you choose to do so, I do always appreciate any any support you guys can give uh, with Super Chats or channel memberships. Now, reap the whirlwind. Now, reap the whirlwind. There we go. So we got a three-star Skylink set of that one, too. A gold G1 cup. I think I have one of those already. Uh, I can save it for uh, if I if they ever have a five star. It'll happen eventually. They said they would never do a five star of swoop, and well, we got them. So even though they said this last time we weren't, they weren't doing a five star cup. Might, might, might show up in the future. Now, reap the whirlwind. Wind. Cosmos. I haven't seen them come through the space bridge even as a dupe in a while. Maybe it's supposed to pay attention, but uh, Pasha Voronov, thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate it. And two star dupe city on this one. Oh, we're down to the last premium crystal. And our dupe city is completed with the two star star saber. All right, we'll re engage the times 10. And oh, uh, Denali Kid, here's his uh, great news he got four star motor master, four star brawl, and long haul, and counter punch, and octo punch. Hey, you got both of the something punches. Very cool. Yeah, you're always coming in getting all these four stars. How, how do you not have everything already? <laughs> uh, thank you for subscribing. Did, did it say Smario? Red Eyes Black Duelist, thanks for subscribing. Boy, everybody's wanting to get their names up in lights. I really do appreciate the subscriptions. Oh, we do some six gun crystals. We'll go back and forth between six gun and gold fire. Keep it fun. Oh, right off the bat. Right off the bat, first one. No suspense. We got the prize out of this out of this batch. Great. Great. Very happy about Deploy. that. Looking forward looking forward to uh, uh and we got a second one. Look, looking forward to um, leveling this guy up and putting him to work. There's Goldfire. You're in the wrong crystal, dude. <laughs> but hey, if you want to come through with a couple extra stars, go ahead. <laughs> Grind time, thanks for the five dollars. Says it won't let me add the zeros, weird. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> five hundred cents instead of five hundred dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh yeah, look at that. Two all this time I couldn't get them and I got two out of three were two were the four star. That's that's crazy how these crystals work sometimes. And uh, did get an enhanced ordinance from that duplicate, so that was cool. That's a, that's a nice core. And uh, gold fire crystals now. <laughs> There's strafe. Yeah, you know, honestly, seeing strafe, I, I think Computron was the uh, the easiest that I was able to get the combiner at four star because. Uh, I thought Strafe was going to be hard to get, but he ended up coming through pretty quick. Even Scattershot uh, got him relatively quickly after the uh, Combiner was released. So, 
I did, you know, most of the other ones, I had to wait for a very long time. So I know a lot of you guys are out there, especially in the Discord, you're still trying to get that that extra component for, for some of your combiners, where, for just for the 3-star to unlock them, and others to get the 4-star. I've definitely been there. Um, but uh, for, for almost all of them. I usually had the 3-star by the time it was released, uh, but the 4-star usually took a while. There's always one bot that I was missing, but... Uh, Came through pretty quick for the Computron bots. So, pretty surprised when I got that scatter shot the other day. Now, Speaking of him, and he shows he, he appears. Now, the See, Pasha Voronov says uh, the four go, stars Snake are <laughs> Optimus, Megatron, Sea Spray, Hook, Nod, Nightbird, Double Dealer, and Cyclonus. Cool. Esoteric got four star Leo Zach. Nice. Wheeljack. Alright, so uh, there we go. We'll go back to the gold fire crystals now. You gotta crack them because they're oh you, you could still get a good bot. Uh, that's not in the named crystals. Most of my four stars actually have come from named crystals for other characters. There was one time uh, a year ago, two years ago, got four star Cheetor and Cosmos back to back, and the, neither one of them was the named crystal. So, yeah, you, can, you never know what's going to happen when you're cracking the crystals. Rule now! Three star Sentius Magnus. Deploy. I always like to check the power cores because you, you know every now and then a two or a three star duplicate will actually get will bump up to get a uh, gold or even a G metal power core. Doesn't happen a lot. But it's always worth checking. Deploy. Another one. Didn't that happen with like Trailbreaker or Grapple or something like that where we just got like uh, three or four of them from the same bundle? That's crazy. There's Red Alert showing up for business. Esoteric asking, is Predaking worth the Combiner Spark or should Menasaur get them instead? They are both very good. I would say whoever's I would say whoever's closest to being four star, I would probably invest in that. If they're both equal, I'd probably go Predaking. Um, but Menasaur, but uh, Menasaur is really good too. I see Ken David Collins saying uh, Menasaur. You really can't go wrong with either one of them. And grind time. Uh, sorry, Goldfire. Why did I, I, I just saw your, your uh, comment there. Gold fire crystals this time. Let's see if we can pull a grind time out of these crystals. No, but we got a Grimlock. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of grind time, got his Computron to level 20 in just over a day. Or, or another day left to get him there and then gonna add a combiner video Deploy. series uh, profile about uh, Computron. So everybody go, uh, if you haven't yet, go over to Grind Time channel, subscribe. He does some good videos over Deploy. there. Deploy. So there we go. Still nothing special about the uh, power course. Last set of six gun crystals. Not that it matters. Let's see if we can pull number four. Or <laughs> yeah, there it is. That's four. Now, See if we can pull number five. That's insane. Roll out. Deploy. Wow. Deploy. Iron Eye gets name dropped. Deploy. Yeah, the the, uh, the bots that were in the game at launch Deploy. get get name dropped because uh, yeah they had Peter Cullen and Frank Welker were still working on them, so they had those 
characters to be, uh, they had them say those character names. Anybody who came after launch uh, gets the generic uh, reap the whirlwind or crush them or deploy. Yeah, because they're not calling those guys back in to, reset, to say those names again. Uh, which, yeah, I, I get. And the last round of gold fire crystals. Are you going to get lucky? Deploy. Roll out. Attack. Got silver bolt. Deploy. He's getting plenty of gold fires. He's just coming with the wrong Deploy. number of stars. Yeah, the GI Joe characters they did they did get uh, new uh, sounds. Good point, Greg Galvatron. And of course, the extra Megatrons and the extra Optimus Primes they already had that sound bite, so they went ahead and used them. That's a, that's a good question. Who voiced the uh, who voiced the uh, GI Joe sayings? Hmm. Yeah, so we got two three-star gold fires out of there. Still wasn't en enough stars though. Eh, three-star slash came through too. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy about the power cores. Okay, so we do have a few more. I would uh, expect a few three-star crystals. We do have a four-star crystal. So maybe we'll get another four-star tonight, uh, the old-fashioned way. And there's all the three stars, and you can see how close I am to the next five star crystal or the five star combat chip. By the way, did you guys notice uh, not too long ago they actually broke the uh, five star combat chips out into uh, legacies? Uh, so that was pretty cool, and uh, I'm not sure how they broke them out. Um, because. Fire Drive, Taraxodon, Night Stalker, and Flak. I think they just did them in order. So Legacy 1, Flak, Night Stalker, Taraxodon, and Fire Drive were the first four that came out. And I'm pretty sure Lionizer was right after them. Um, but as you can see, my fi the five-star combat box that I have, I am definitely going uh, for this Legacy for my next combat ships. Because the two are that are available for me are Night Stalker and Flak, who are both excellent combat bots. So let me just tell you now, my next two five-star combat bots are going to be Night Stalker and Flak in some order, but it's definitely going to be those two. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Legacy 2 are the rest Rest of these guys. Uh, top Shot's great. Rung is great. Uh, I like Dial. Not as good as Night Stalker, but still pretty good. Smashdown's good. Trench Foot, I still haven't found a good use for. Um, and the current chip is Glitch, Sound Barrier, Stripes, Top Heavy, and Red Heat. All pretty good bots, but they, they really can't compare with the uh, Legacy one. Really, the only bad bot in there is Fire Drive, and I already got him. So, uh, <laughs> definitely definitely uh, doing that. Um, anyway, I, I, I don't think I've mentioned that before, but that, that showed up, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago. So let's do these uh, three-star crystals. These are all going to be dupe cities, so go ahead and uh, throw dupe cities in there. Uh. Hey, what's up, soldier? Good to see you, man. Have a good one, Optimus Prime. Why is there no five-star slug or streetwise? Uh, they just haven't got to him. Uh, and, and honestly, I think a lot of people would be like slug streetwise. Oh, come on. Those guys those aren't even the the best ones they, they a lot of people would much rather have other bots in there because they, they're uh, They're more popular and uh, more useful um, if you see uh, like, like for example nose cone, you're not gonna see nose cone come in as a five-star I think there would be riots if they did unless he comes with a significant buff and so that's why I say next time they ask for uh, five star bots, vote for Nose Cone because they, they will know that they have to do a buff for them. So, how do I have get more? Oh, I've got a premium crystal. 
I didn't even see that. Let's do that, get that out of the way. Xavier Black, we've got a four star Razor Sharp from a free crystal. Very cool. Razor Sharp's like a Smashdown. I, good, good call, man. Good one. And four star crystal is a duplicate. Dust up. G1 dust up core though. I don't know if I have a G1 dust up core, and that that improves her slightly. Uh, she's not currently on a team. She's at level 50, waiting for a spot in the research lab. So not a big big whoop uh, for me. But uh, yeah, there you go. Crystal cracking is uh, complete. Got Ravage on Hiss Wave, yeah. Yeah, I've got my Ravage on uh, my normal Sound Wave on my Decepticon account because I have him in the Outpost, so th that's really nice because when he pops out, he drops his four minions plus Ravage along with him, uh, right next to Felbat who has Overkill on him. So, and they're the two Outposts are right next together, and they often get popped together. So when the, so when they get there, you've got Felbat comes out drops his shock tower also uh, deploys overkill and you got sound wave plus his minions so you got two bots and six minions all attacking you while you're stunned by the shock tower and uh, uh, I win a pretty good pretty good rate uh, with that with that attack so I don't win everything some people can get around it but uh, oftentimes uh, I, I do get a lot of wins with that uh, as I level my base more and I bump up into another zone because because that those have been like zone 12 wins and as I bump up into zone 13 by upgrading my base more and more that attacks probably not gonna be as effective but it's working now it's uh, and uh, yeah yes yeah, as so, she sound wave says dust up is still trash yeah I know I was just trying to be uh, nice you know Cause that's that's what I, I, I try I try to look on the bright side of things, and uh, but but yeah, I you know I leveled dust up to fifty and uh, I hardly ever deployed the ability and you know that's fine. There's plenty of plenty of uh, squads that I run that it's really the show uh, showcase for uh, just a handful of the bots. You got, you're taking eight bots out there. Uh, if you're actually using the ability for every, all eight of the bots that you actually take out there, I would think that's probably unusual. There's almost always going to be one, two, three bots or something on your squad that are just there to fill it out and do their normal base attack. And, uh, f for that case, dust up is just as good as any other gunner, uh, for the normal base attack. It's just the, the, uh, the special ability, and we're talking Vortex here too for you Decepticons. Uh, the special ability is not very good. Same thing with Nosecone. Uh, he, he's, a, he's just as strong a tank as anybody else. It's just you're not going to use a special ability much. Uh, so, so anybody who says they're absolutely worthless, that's not true. They're, they're, they're good to fill a spot where you need a tank but not an extra special ability. Or a gunner where you don't need an extra special ability. So... Yeah, yeah Risky saying gunners are too weak now. Well, it depends on what zone you're going in. You know, it, that's uh, a lot of you guys are our top players playing in zone 15 and stuff like that, and uh, that's great. You know, uh, more power to you. I, I really appreciate it. But uh, there's a heck of a lot of players who aren't. Uh, I, I attack uh, mostly zone 12 uh, on my Autobot account with uh, probably I'm probably about half 13 now and half 12. And um, on my Decepticon account, I've got one that can do 12 consistently, uh, two or three others that can sometimes beat 12, but most of them are 11. Uh, so down there, that uh, ex that, that just uh, tank fill in a slot or gunner fill in a slot can be pretty useful. Uh, so it, it all it all depends on uh, what level you're doing. So you, you got the the meta, as they say for for top tier wars in zone 15. Uh, is not as much of a requirement uh, when you're not hitting those top bases. Um, so, just 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 things to think about. So, 
but still, yeah. Nose cone drill horn is is the uh, uh, the Decepticon one, and uh, nose or and dust up vortex. Yeah, their their abilities are are not very good. So, so gotta run healers generally if you run gunners. Yeah. And I've definitely found if you are going to run healers, you don't want to rush. Because if you're going to rush a bot in and you have a healer on the squad, the healer's going to suicide himself trying to get to that other bot that rushed in. And then you just basically, it, you know, it's worthless. Um, and the, wor the worst part is when you're trying to level a healer. So I ran into this a couple of times because uh, I was leveling Reflector with Lugnut. And I forgot... And so I got Lugnut to jump around the outpost and give me the headquarters. Uh, but then I had Reflector on the, on the uh, squad. I dropped him too early. And he ran ran up to Lugnut, popping outposts on the way. And I'm just like, come on, man. So that that's when you just drop the, bot, the strong bot, jump up there, do the damage. And I always watch for... As soon as you see the uh, electricity on the headquarters, you know, you, you jump them up there, you fast forward it, and as soon as you see the electricity, let go of the fast forward and drop your other bot. So, there you go. Hoist is good for rush teams? Yes, I have Hoist on my team with Optimus Primal, you know, Monkey Prime, and uh, because they, they tend to stay together uh, when, when they rush because they're all moving towards the uh, defenses. And so, since the team tends to stay grouped, Hoist with his pulse to uh, improve, Im uh, increase the movement speed and heal is perfect for that type of a for that type of a, a attack. Crackling headquarters, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like the, the that description. Crackling headquarters. Need a core that makes sure your bot cannot pop outposts. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. I, Slash and Ripper Snapper kind of do that if you have their uh, special ability. Uh, if, if if they're in their special ability, they're they're kind of stealthy. Uh, they don't they don't pop outposts, but if they are right by an outpost when they uh, when they pop uh, when their ability ends, you will pop them <laughs> right away. Uh, so. Your hoist has Micronus on it. On it, it's kind of kind of a overkill. Uh, Reaper Shadow, thank you for the uh, making jazz dance there, making the lights flash. Uh, pre appreciate that. Love your uh, videos and streams all the, from all the way back. When did you, when did I get into Transformers? Uh, you've been a fan since 2005, and you're 20. Keep it up. Well, I'm I'm a. Uh, <laughs> When did I get into Transformers? It's a story. It's a two-part story. I got into Transformers when they were first released in 1984. In fact, even before that, when GoBots were around, uh, I was in, my 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 dad was in the military, and we were over in Japan uh, visiting him. We went into a toy store. I guess I was bored or something, and uh, we found a little uh, jet that turned into a little robot dude. Turns out it's what became Leader One. I don't have that toy anymore, but I remember that that's what it was. Uh, and I only remember that after I saw him again years later. I'm like, oh, that's the one. So my first Transformer was a GoBot. In fact, it probably wasn't even a GoBot. It was probably Machine Robo back then. Uh, so it wasn't even GoBots at that time. Um, but but yeah, I was target audience for Transformers when it came out in 1984. So that's when I got into it. So I got, I got a bunch of G1 Transformers before they were even called G1 because they were the only G at the time. Uh, you know? So, um, but... As people tend to do, I grew up, uh, you know, I got older and uh, started getting more into school stuff and uh, band and various other things. And, uh, uh, you know, the whole Transformer thing kind of just went off to the side. Um, I still kept uh, uh, most of the toys. I still have some of them. I don't have all of them, but I do still have some of them. Um, but uh, so many years went by, didn't, didn't really uh, do a whole lot with Transformers. But then, but then, movies, Michael, the Bayverse, you know, the, the Transformers the movie came out, what was it, 2007? And I was like, oh, cool, definitely want to go see that. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Saw the second one, I thought it was good. But it wasn't until Dark of the Moon 
uh, when I really got back into Transformers because, and that's because they, I, I work out at the Space Center, Kennedy Space Center, and they did some filming for Dark of the Moon out there, so it was really cool. I could see the Optimus Prime trailer was parked in the parking lot over there, and I was just like, oh, so that's where it goes when he transforms. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I did see some of the uh, the other vehicles uh, kind of around off in the distance. I didn't I didn't stalk them or anything like that, but you know, just driving around for my normal day to day duties, I did manage to see some of them. And then the day that they wrapped filming, they actually did an announcement that says, "Hey, you know, every, of course everybody knew they were filming," and they said, "Hey, uh, over there at, at this one area, if you go if you go swing by there, they have the uh, Optimus Prime truck and the Bumblebee car available for pictures," and uh, so. And I just happened to be wearing a Transformer shirt, not this one, but a Transformer shirt that day. For whatever reason, I happened to have one Transformer shirt. It was the Autobot symbol. I happened to be wearing it that day. And so I went over there and took some pictures. I took a little, and I happened to be there at the end of the day when they left. So I even took a video of them leaving, and that was pretty cool. And um, that day, I went out and bought an Optimus Prime and a Bumblebee figure. And it's just exploded from there. So very, very long story uh, for a relatively simple question. I think you got your five dollars worth out of that one. I hope. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 good to uh, it's good to reminisce like that. I mean, I, I've told the story before, and I know not everybody's been around it. You know, clearly, I, I don't mind telling it. Uh, yeah, so it's cool. Let's see, do I know any Japanese words? Oh, dude, I was like six or seven. Uh, I think I, I remember, uh, oh. I think they taught me to how to say thank you, but I can't say, uh, can't say what it was. I, I want to rem I want to say I remember like Domo, but uh, I think it's, nah, I don't, I'm not even gonna try. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I was I was very young. I was very young. I, I, I couldn't have been more than seven. That's for sure. Pro tip, don't use healers only. I see back in the chat there. Yeah, and, and definitely don't put healers in an outpost. See, sound wave grew up with the uh, first Transformers Bayverse movie. Yeah. Yeah, see, see, I, I definitely, you know, there's a lot of people who are like really uh, love G1, hate the Bayverse, and then there's other people love the Bayverse, hate G1 or whatever. You know, to me, you know, a lot, a lot you know, they'll say like, uh, if, like, like a lot of you guys are saying, you got into Transformers with the Bayverse movies or whatever, so that's your G1. Well, it's kind of my G G one also because it got me back. Um, so, but and then I just and and then also you know the internet being around you know there's the the forums, the chats, and the YouTube videos and stuff like that, and you know it's just so much to take in, and I just love every bit of it. Um, you know, to the point where I've even gone back after the fact and gone and watched Ant Transformers animated. Uh, went back after the fact, watched Transformers Beast Wars, and. Uh, I did actually start Armada. We got a couple episodes into it, and then I ended up got got busy doing other stuff. Uh, but I'm going to get back and finish the Unicron trilogy because that, that is my my one uh, dark ages of hoist Transformers knowledge is that whole Unicron trilogy. Um, but I enjoyed Transformers Prime. In fact, as I, as I was getting back into it, Transformers Prime was the show, and it was amazing. It's still amazing. I love Transformers Prime. And I've watched all the shows that have come out since then, including the Robots in Disguise that came out in 2015, uh, Rescue Bots. I love Rescue Bots. You know, if you don't love Rescue Bots, well, that, that's fine, but give it a try. Uh, it, it's definitely skewed for the kids or whatever, but there's some good stuff in there. Uh, Rescue Bots Academy. That's a little too young for me. I did watch a few episodes, and I may finish it at some point. But that one's that one's really young. Cyberverse is good. The whole. Prime Wars trilogy with the Combiner Wars and all the stuff that they did in Machinima. They didn't do a very good with the job with that. I think mostly it was because they were doing like the first season was like five minute episodes and they did ten minute episodes. 
those, they were too short. They tried to do too much with uh, too little time. That's really the thing. They, you know, they, they squeezed what should have been a much longer episode down into five minutes, and it just wasn't enough. Or, or like an entire season should have been w one episode. So that was the big reason with that one, anyway. Um, yeah. So, and uh, did I say Cyberverse? Yeah, I watched Cyberverse. Uh, liked it so much, I actually made, went out and made sure I got uh, uh, all the toys so I could build this dude. He's uh, and he's actually uh, the bot. I named the uh, Discord bot after uh, Mac Adam. Speaking of which, uh, should be a Discord link going in the chat. It's also in the um, uh, the description of the video if you happen to be watching the replay. Uh, so yeah, if you go over to Discord, if uh, you'll find one of the uh, my moderation bot. I named it Macadam after this dude. Um, yeah. Oh, and of course the whole Netflix uh, Siege and uh, Earthrise and Kingdom is coming soon. Uh, those those they're pretty good. They're not top tier. They're not quite Transformers Prime or stuff like that, but they're definitely way better than that Prime Wars trilogy. So, I uh, see so you guys asking uh, now, uh, what instrument did I play uh, in the band? I actually played quite a few. I started with the saxophone, and then um, at one point we had too many saxophones in, in, in our band. So they asked for people to uh, change instruments. And I was like, yeah, sure, okay. And then um, I, what was it, bassoon? actually or I think I did oboe briefly but then I ended up changing to bassoon I like more of the lower lower instruments and bassoon kind of became my uh, my main instrument the the one that I got the best at was the bassoon um, don't ask me to play it now it's been a very long time um, but then uh, that, that was like in middle school then when you get to high school uh, you have marching band well you can't march with a bassoon so I, first year I marched with the saxophone again and um, uh, also, I was in the jazz band. I played Barry, the baritone saxophone. Like I said, I like the low instruments, uh, the Barry sax. Uh, um, let's see. So marching band, I played the, played the saxophone. And then in the concert band for the rest of the year, I played the bassoon. Um, then the my sophomore year in high school, we had the same problem again that we had in middle school. Too many saxophones. So we asked for uh, volunteers uh, to change instruments. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And he says, hey, how about how about uh, baritone? And um, I was like, well, I wasn't a big fan of the people in the baritone sections. And I said, hey, what about tuba? You know, those guys look like they have a good time. You know, the sousaphone, you know, that big one that you wear, whatever. The director said, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll put you on that. You can go do that. And so for the rest of my high school career and even one year in college, uh, I played the uh, the sousaphone in the marching band. and. I gotta tell you, amazing fun, amazing fun. So, yeah, uh, I, I got a guitar. I'm a perpetual beginner at that instrument, but uh, yeah, so uh, quite a few of them, quite a few of them. Yeah. Let's see what what, what else we got going on. Let's see. Um. And Gavitron said, I wish we had the Sentius Twins in the Prime Wars trilogy. Yes, I would like to uh, see more of the Sentius Twins outside of the game. They, I mean, they're, they're really cool. And honestly, the concept is pretty cool, too. Uh, so I'd definitely like to, to see that. Um, <laughs> there should be a Transformer show that only has forgotten Transformers in it, like Paddles, Slash, Rays, etc. <laughs> That would that would be interesting. Transformers: The Forgotten. <laughs> uh, Grind Time says that my oldest daughter plays all the saxophones. You know that's that's a, that's a not nice thing about saxophone. I mean, it's all the basically the, it's all the same fingerings. If you you know if you want to play a, if you want to play a G, you, you know if you want to play a, you know a low C, you know you know it's it's all the same fingerings. Uh, it is a little bit you do, the, the the toughest part about switching anywhere from like say uh, like a alto or like a soprano saxophone to an alto tenor berry or bass. I never never had a chance to play a bass saxophone. Uh, the biggest thing is more like your embouchure, embouchure how, how you do your mouth. That that's really the tricky thing. But I mean the uh, the that, that's a nice thing about uh, the uh, the fingerings. 
Um, bassoon's pretty crazy because, like, like the, your thumb. This has like five different keys that you have to that you, you you can press in certain number of orders, and it's all like the low notes. Uh, but it's pretty cool though because as you go, you kind of just roll it. You know, get the first one over here, then the second, third. You know. So, and then you have like four of them, I think, with your pinky finger. Yeah, there's quite a few. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. Pretty tough. And then, then even again, you know, the embouchure is just you just like a double read, and yeah, yeah. had a lot of fun. Fun though. So. Yeah, I see, I see some of you guys saying uh, what other what instruments you got. Anybody else out there who uh, pl play some stuff? Um, yeah, go ahead and let us know while, while we're on the topic. Yeah, this is how it goes after the stream. It's, it's you know, it's pretty much free for all. So let's talk about band for a while. <laughs> let's see. Uh, grind time. It taught, taught, taught herself a guitar. Yeah. Pretty much any instrument except a flute. Yeah, flute was one of the ones where I was just like, I, I never could, 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 I was like, I, I saw what they had to do with their mouths. I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do manage that. Uh, so I just did, didn't even bother. I probably I probably could have picked up clarinet if I wanted to, but I just never really had the, the opportunity. Uh, French horn was pretty tough. I didn't I didn't play it, but I, I you know one of my best friends uh, played the French horn. Um, but uh, and he was pretty he was pretty good at it. But uh, yeah, that's definitely a tough one. Yeah. So so yeah yeah. Props to you if you if you're a French horn player. Man. Out to Bob Phil, bass guitarist in a couple of bands. Yeah, you know, I, I wanted to. I, I had a bass guitar uh, one time, one time, but it it, it was kind of. I got it used, and it was kind of damaged, and I just never really stuck with it. Um, uh, I would imagine as a bass guitarist, you're probably familiar with Davey Five Hundred Four over on YouTube. I mean, I don't want to get a whole discussion about that or whatever, but uh, I, I uh, discovered his channel a, a while back and uh, lo love the channel. Uh, anyway. So yeah, if you if if you haven't go uh, if you're in your bass player go look up Davey five hundred four. He's he's pretty he's a pretty big YouTuber like nine million subs or something like that. So uh, Jim, General Red Alert's asking was that the high school over by the Taco Bell? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I, yes, yes. Seminole High School. I don't know if they call it there. That that Taco Bell that you're talking about, I know exactly which one you're talking about. We we stopped there a lot of times, like after band practice. It's right right there on uh, like 1792. Yep. Visited that Taco Bell quite a bit. Thanks for coming by, Super VH. Is Leo Zach a good outpost spot? Uh, I, I can't really say that because I, I haven't had him or Scattershot enough to know. Um, I would say there's definitely some better. He's probably okay, but there's probably some better options out there. Uh, whether you have them or not is a, is a good question, though. No. Luke uh, played the violin, the clarinet, and the trumpet, and your brother played bagpipes. Very cool. Yeah, that, that's awesome, man. Yeah, violin's another one that I, I'm not even going to try. My fingers are not, you know, especially trying to play a guitar and all that, my fingers are not uh, nimble enough to, to do stuff like that. Um, boss Man says, my experience with musical instruments is uh, Guitar Hero, and that was using only three buttons. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely played me some Guitar Hero. Uh, so I'm with you on that one. <laughs> uh, I... I did use four buttons. Uh, I never quite made it to five. I just could not figure out. I, I think I, I tried a few of them, um, but but I, I never figured it out. Uh, I do watch some Guitar Hero videos on YouTube, and what some of these people who are really talented at it, I, you know, just seeing the th seeing the 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 roadway or whatever they call it coming down, it's just like, oh my goodness, there's no way I'd ever be able to hit that. It's crazy. Uh, you know what's the funny, funniest thing about uh, playing Guitar Hero or even watching it? If you're just sitting there, if you're sitting there, you're you're watching the notes as they go by, and it's just coming down the stream so much. When it's done, 
and you look away, it, lo it looks like the room is moving up. It's crazy how your eye adjusts itself to that motion. And then when you look away and there's no motion, it's like the whole thing is just warping and moving up for, for a second until your eyes reset. Crazy. I, I love it. <laughs> uh, let's see. James S. Uh, yes. Yes. I actually, I got my ticket for TFCon. Uh, this year I did it, it, it was I was kind of up in the air you know what with everything that's going on but it looks like it's moving towards uh, where it's uh it's gonna be good and I, I got my ticket I got a class I got the custom class ticket again so I, I had no idea what they're gonna do um, but uh, uh, so I'm, de I'm definitely gonna be there I'm looking forward to uh, to going over there a um, lot of lot of uh, uh, people that I know uh, from YouTube and whatnot are going there. Um, let's see, Patriot Prime. Uh, I don't know if you guys know all these people, but uh, Patriot Prime, uh, Kato uh, from Kato's Collections, uh, Deluxe Baldwin, uh, Bert the Stormtrooper, and uh, Rodimus Primal. Uh, those are those are uh, some other guys that I know for sure are actually planning on going there, and we're we're actually going to uh, try to get together and hang out, and uh, yeah. Look, looking forward to uh, uh, getting some uh, hangout time with some pe some people that you only know. And yeah, if you if you find if you find yourself at TFCon uh, and you see me out there, you can be pretty sure I'll. Uh, this hat's kind of rough, um, but uh, uh, you could probably recognize me even without the hat. But you know, if you see me, come on up and say hi. You know, uh, last time I was there, we had a few people go do that, and uh, I r really appreciate it. It's it's a uh, it's a little, a little weird because I'm not used to being, you know, famous. You know, not that I'm like super famous, but you know, anyway. Uh, but but yeah, don't you know? Come on, come on up, say hi. You know, we'll chat chat for a little bit or whatever. Yeah. So, will I take little videos? I'll have to think about that. I I, I, I meant to uh, last time I went. Uh, I was trying to think about how could I cover it or whatever. But uh, um, I'll see what I can do. You know, we got we got, a, got a little bit of time. I, I don't think I'll do any live streams. I think you know, some people might, some people did some live streams. I, I think occasionally, um, but it's it's tough when you're there because the uh, you can't really tr you know trust the uh, internet that they have there. Um, not 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 so much trust. It's just there's so many people there that their internet may not be able to handle somebody live streaming. You know, so. Won't be better than our London trip. Yeah, that, that London trip was pretty pretty fun. That London trip was pretty cool, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I agree, Red Alert. I, I re I'm re I'm still still upset about the uh, you know all this happening, canceling the Orlando one, and then they you know hopefully it'll come back to Orlando again. So I'm going to Joe Fest in Georgia though. Okay, cool. But yeah. Yeah, I, I have a feeling they'll uh, come back to Orlando again. They just probably couldn't. Uh, you know, they're they're working on getting plans for for years out. Because I mean, you know, like, like they announced what the next one's going to be at the one that's currently happening. So they they're currently working on it. So they may have an Orlando one in the works now. Uh, fingers crossed. I would love to. I would love to have another one here in Orlando. Most likely not till twenty three. Yeah, probably. Uh, you know, fingers crossed for 22, but uh, probably not till 23. So, James S., I, I would be happy to take a selfie with you. Yeah, yeah, we did, did, did a couple of selfies, and you know, one regret I, I have is I took selfies with some people or I, on their phones, and I didn't take it on my phone, nor did I get ask them to send it to me, so I didn't actually get you know keep those selfies. So. Uh, next next time, um, you know when 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 you cut when you ask for a selfie with me, I'm, we're going to take one on my phone too. So yeah, will will Tripredicus be added to the game? Uh, yeah, they're definitely working towards them. They they haven't officially announced it, but I mean, 
the, the last two bots were the Decepticons. Are these two guys. Two of the three bots in Tribe Predicus, and they look exactly like these toys. You know? So Ram Ramhorn, who doesn't like to stay up, in in Cicadacon. The, these these are the two bots that we got last for the Decepticons, and they look exactly like these toys. There's no chance that they're not going to complete the uh, the uh, Tripredicus. Not necessarily with this next bot, but it's a 100% chance you will see C Clamp at some point, and then they will form Tripredicus. I'm not going to do that with these guys right now because it is a little involved. Same thing for Magnaboss for the uh, for the Autobot side. We got uh, Prowl and uh, we already saw Ironhide earlier, so you, so you know what he's going to look like. But uh, Silverbolt and Prowl. I mean, the the the, the two that, that we got, you know, looks exactly like these toys. So any debate is it going to be the three uh, three bot combiner, five bot combiner? It's going to be a three bot combiner, exactly like these uh, Beast Wars toys were, because they, they are the the get to the characters in game are spitting images of these original care toys, and uh, so that's what it's going to be. Let's see, collection photos, you're saying? Yeah, you got the uh, Cybertron Primus. Let me see if we can uh, see if we can pull that up. There you go. So there's uh, Optimus Prime's uh, home world of Cybertron, complete with the uh, Omega Lock and some uh, Cyber Planet keys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thanks for sharing. I have the uh, same uh, Primus. Thank you to Red Alert for helping me ob obtain that over at the uh, comic shop where he uh, uh, works at. So d definitely, uh, d definitely appreciate that. It, it was all it was complete. Uh, the electronics even function on it and everything like that came with the Omega Lock. I don't have any Cyber Planet keys. Actually, I do have a couple. Did come with the Primus, but. Uh, yeah, he, he's still he's still he's still on my shelf over there, uh, you know, uh, that I get to look at anytime I'm in that room. He's much shorter than his uh, nemesis back here, though. He does scale pretty good with that original uh, Unicron that came out during the same time frame that that he did, though. So. You want to see uh, Beast Wars Ironhide? Yeah, some of you guys might not not have been here when I showed them off before. There, there is Ironhide. He's an angry boy. He's angry and mean. Yes. And uh, he turns into an elephant, and I love love like the elephant face. Like, even the elephant is angry. He's an angry elephant. He's very panelly. He he is a. Uh, uh, probably the definition of a shell former. I mean, bas basically his whole body is like just like all panels, but uh, it, not very posable. But this guy actually makes up most of uh, Magna Boss. Uh, these arms are actually are the Magna Boss legs, and then his body kind of splits, and Prowl and uh, Silverbolt just kind of form into like a little uh, ball and then sit in the center of Ironhide who then closes up around him so so the the legs become Magna Boss's arms and the, and the or the art you know the arms become Magna Boss's legs and the legs become Magna Boss's arms so he, he is like 70% of Magna Boss so I, I can see why he's not particularly uh, posable in this robot mode but but uh he looks great he definitely looks great we 
Really want C Clan to be a medic? Highly unlikely. These two guys are going to be warriors, or at least melee special class. Highly unlikely that they're going to be medics. Yeah, we, we got the uh, uh, Ramhorn and Prowl were like the uh, special class scouts. Um, as expected, Cicada Khan and Silverbolt are air class bots. It's a bird and a bug. Of course they are. And um, you have a lobster and an elephant. These guys, those guys are going to be warriors or at least melee specials. So... Yeah, Rekar, yeah, I, I, I would like to see Rekar come in. Uh, what, one of the, um, one of the, see, see, I think where they're, where they're having a tough time with Rekar is who is his counterpart going to be? Would he be a, uh, like a mercenary faction? Because when we first meet Rekar and the rest of the Junkions, they weren't Autobots. And in fact, they were fighting the Autobots. They were just kind of their own thing. But since that you know, pivotal utterance of Bali Grana Weep Ninibong by Hot Rod when they arrived on the planet in the Quintesson ship. They've, they've, the Junkions have been friends with the Autobots and you may as well consider them Autobots ever since that moment. Uh, they've definitely not ever been on the side of the Decepticons, so I wouldn't see them as mercenaries. Rekar is Autobot. He's, you know. So who, who would his uh, counterpart be? Uh, I guess you you would just have to you know pick anybody. Hmm. Doesn't necessarily need to be a motorcycle, you know. It could be, I maybe mean, he could be paired with a car. I know they generally pair the motorcycles. Uh. Or they, they try to they try to keep the vehicle modes uh, paired, you know, similarly, you know, like Afterbreaker and Flame War are both motorcycles. But uh, uh, consider Rust Dust as a motorcycle, and her counterpart is Scavenger, an excavator. Not the same thing. Um, so it, it doesn't have to be Goldfire and Ramjet. It's a, a jet and a in a sports car. You know. Um, Let's see, Skyburst and Onslaught. One is a helicopter, the other is like a mobile artillery unit. So they don't have to match the alt modes. <laughs> Crying Dime says, I don't know, Rekgard did have awfully specific information on the whereabouts of Galvatron, with no explanation as to how or why. He explained it! They watched TV! It was on the news! Yeah, they talk TV. You don't think they're getting every last little bit of broadcast that, you know, piped directly into their brains? That's how they knew. They were seeing the live streams from um, from Lithone and all the other planets that Unicron was eating. He knew about that, you know. <laughs> Luke, I hope your father uh, is uh, does does okay. James, James said he could be a garbage truck like an animated. That's a good point. Unlikely. Speaking of that, though, uh, I did manage to make it to a Weird Al Yankovic concert a few years ago because he uh, did a concert in town. And uh, there was one point, I think they must have been doing a costume change or changing the sets or something. So they kind of had this little video screen up there. And they were, they were, they were showing something. I, I think they might have been doing the Dare, Dare to be Stupid and just a whole bunch of stuff and, and one of the panels that flashed up there was animated Rekgar and I was like yes that was awesome I, I don't know if anybody else in that theater got it but I knew that was up there because Weird Al Yankovic was the voice of that uh, um, animated Rekgar yeah, spoil alert in case you didn't know that animated Rekgar the garbage truck was voiced by Weird Al Yankovic I actually have that figure. You want to you want to talk about a shell former? The entire garbage truck backpack is just that. I mean, it's the, the whole back is just one big piece, and you basically just fold him up and stuff him in, inside there. 
so he's he's a, a terribly back heavy. <laughs> but is it? But it's a spitting image that just like all the animated figures, it's a spitting image to the uh, the character in the show. I guess you missed the new shuttle following Unicron. Yeah, they, they, they were cloaked. Yeah, they, they were cloaked. The new shuttle was cloaked. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, thanks again, uh, Reaper Shadow. Uh, you think they will add Primus and Unicron as Titans? Uh, Reaper, okay. Um, you got Five Star Springer, uh, Wheeljack, and Gnaw. Cool. Uh, do I think they will add Primus and Unicron as Titans in the game? No. No, I don't think so. I mean, they're, they're so much bigger than Titans. I mean, in toy form, they can't be that much bigger than Titans, but, like, in scale, in continuity... They're planets, man! The Titans are, uh... on the, uh... on... They, yeah, yeah they're, they're, no, they're, they're too big. Uh, so no, I don't. I don't ever see them coming in the game. Uh, the the best you'll get is referenced in one of the stories. I don't ever see. We'll. I don't think we'll ever see them in the game. Maybe they might do an avatar of them. I don't know. But uh, I don't think you'll ever see them as playable characters or or even boss characters like the Titans were initially. So no. So. <laughs> Silver Bolt Rekkar is only good for one thing. Garbage! <laughs> yep. Thought they already added Primus in the game. You're thinking of the Prima core? Little, little difference between Prima and Primus. You know, the, the, uh, the original Primes, which the Prime cores were based on, were created by Primus. And in a way... Oh, I know the other one you're thinking of. Yes. Uh... It, it, it's been long enough by now that it's not a spoiler. Rung was revealed to be Primus in the comics. So that, that's probably who you're thinking of their PB2. Yeah. Got it in before your comments showed up. It's like a 10 second delay. I got it in before your comments showed up. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Primus and Unicron would probably be pretty cool VIP avatars. Doesn't matter. You can give me any avatar you want. I'm not changing it off a hoist. So. Uh, take care, grind time. L Loki's actually really good. You, uh, watch out for the part. No, I'm just kidding. No, he, I, I, I watched Loki earlier. It's, uh, it's a good show. It's, it's, it's definitely going to be a good show. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, exactly, Big Brother. That's what I was thinking. The, la the last thing in the game you'll see before they sh shut off the server is you'll see just like, uh, you know, Unicron eating the planet. Yeah, you know, it's just you'll see, you know, it's like, okay, we're shutting off the server, and then then, then it'll just be like a uh, cutscene, and you'll just see like Unicron chomping and then black. Not that we want to talk about the end of the game or anything like that, and no, they wouldn't actually do that, but that would be kind of funny. So. Oh, we're blinking again. Oh my goodness, Luke. Thank you so much. You're so generous. Have a great night, man. Oh, I don't know what to say, man. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Hundred dollars gets a dance. There you go, a lousy dance. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate it. I'm speechless. OMG, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, I. I <laughs> Uh, there, there's my uh, Davy 504 reference. OMG! <laughs> so, seriously, seriously, I was mentioning that about the guy who was playing bass. Sorry, I forgot who it was, but uh, even if you don't do that, uh, you know, he's he's just, he's just uh, uh, first of all, he's very talented at playing bass, and second of all, he does does some crazy stuff in there. It's uh, quite quite entertaining. To Yeah, 
there we, there we go. <laughs> Slap like <laughs> on this video. Yes. I, I, I love how he holds his hand up at the end of the video, just kind of looks at it for a second with the anticipation. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good times, good times. You know, Nightbeat on Discord and he plays bass. Okay, cool. Uh, no, I, I, I have a guitar. I had a bass, but uh, I'm a perpetual beginner at them. So, um, yeah, you must, you must have been, uh, I saw you said you were driving home. You must have been driving over. Having, we, were, we were talking that, uh, talking uh, stuff like that earlier. Um, but but yeah, I have a, I have a guitar, um, but uh, I I pull it out every so often and and you know I you know do a few things and I'm like oh my fingers hurt I put it away I do others and then I go back doing other stuff and then another three years passes so I'm a perpetual beginner a perennial beginner um, I had a bass at one point um, many many years ago like in high school or whatever but uh, I never I never really learned it or stuck with it. Um, yeah, Pasha, I agree. The uh, you know it's, it's a little disappointing that you can't get the opposite faction combiners in there, but it's really more of a technical issue. It's not like they're being uh, stingy or anything. It, it's just it it's it would be a little bit too much. They say, or at least they say, it would be too too much code in the file that it would probably bog things down, and you wouldn't have a good uh, play experience. Like you know, you might get more lags and stuff like that. So that's why they've chosen not to. Uh, um, that's why they've chosen not chosen not to put opposite faction combiners. Learn to play the drums, cool. Got some decent gear, but not don't want to play, play as much as you want to. Yeah. The 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 most the most uh, I've ever played drums is uh yeah like the somebody else said it before a Guitar Hero. Yeah, I I got the one with the drum kit. Honestly, even that wasn't I wasn't very good at. <laughs> <laughs> was, even that I wasn't even good at that so Luke man did you win the lottery or something I, I really seriously I, I appreciate it man he's even got he's got the dude dancing thank you so much man oh I'll, I'll give you a dance for 50 bucks too <laughs> dude really thank you so much oh it, it's, it's I, I I just I have no words. Just thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> love making jazz dance. Yeah, that's why I put it up there. <laughs> Big Brown's room says I uh, want want a multi scale eight string, but can can't justify it since I don't play enough. Yeah, you, you know, actually, many years ago, I, I got a, uh, I got an acoustic guitar. I actually signed up for some lessons, but the guitar, you know, from one of the guy, guys, he was a guitar player at the uh, store that I bought it from. Um, but the, but, but it actually broke. Like the, uh, the, you know, the part at the end. I don't know. I, I don't know guitar parts, but the part at the end where you, not, not where you tune the strings, but down on the body, uh, that kind of lifted. Uh, so it, it couldn't be repaired they didn't have a replacement for me uh, so I took it back in you know of course I was getting my uh, my lessons there too so they went ahead and took it back and as a loaner they gave me like a 12 string and he's like oh yeah this is pretty cool and they told me how it worked but as a beginner I could not do a 12 string yeah I was just like and that I think really threw me off was trying to you know because you, you know the way a 12 string works is it's basically it's doubled up you have you know they're in octaves uh so it's you play it like a six string uh but but you hold down and strum two strings each time whichever finger that you're actually doing and i'm sure it's cool uh for experienced guitar players and probably gives some good sounds or whatever but when you're still playing hot cross buns 12 string is a terrible thing to, <laughs> to be trying to learn on you know, or twinkle, twinkle, little star. When, 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 when you're, uh, when you're, uh, um, 
the depth of your playing peaks at Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You do not want to be learning on a 12 string. So, yeah, 8 strings different. It, it's just two extra strings. So, two lower strings. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see Optimus uh, posted up the uh, Armada Starscream from the uh, Generations uh, figure a while back. That's a cool little figure. I actually got, uh, actually got all the, I think all the variants of that, except the Takara. I got the Hasbro version of it. Then uh, got there were two Collectors Club versions of it with a new head. They did a Sky Warp, and then they did, uh, oh, what was it, Ramjet? I think it was different colors though. Um, and then uh, Takara Tomi released uh, it was actually Super Star Screen but it was in blue uh, so I bought that to stand in as my Thundercracker so yeah I got I, I have too many of those plus they also retooled it a little bit into be Geaxis so yeah I, I've got uh, too many of those <laughs> figures there so if you wanted Space Ape to add one bot or a con, who would it be and why? Oh, man, my, my list dried up when they added Hoist, <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, uh, if they could add, if they could add, you know, I, I'm in agreement with a lot of you guys. Uh, uh, they've got almost all of the 86 movie cast, uh, but we're missing Rekgar, like we were talking before. We're missing Blur. Uh, Blur and Miss Prime would probably appreciate this if he's still around. So they're missing Blur, they're missing uh, Rekgar, and uh, so it's kind of hard to do like a 86 movie uh, squad if you don't get them on there. Um, <laughs> paddles, you guys were saying. You're, you're not going to get Paddles. Paddles existed for like one paragraph of a prose story. <laughs> you're not going to see, uh, you're not going to see Paddles ever. In fact, they never even made a toy of Paddles. The, the only toy that I'm aware of of Paddles uh, was the one that I got from uh, Planet X. They retooled their sludge into a plesiosaur with, uh, you know, with Paddles and a longer tail and a slightly different neck. And the only reason I got that was because it was like 80% off. It was it's normally like a $130 figure. I got it for $30. So. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think you'll be seeing Paddles. Wheelie? Wheelie has a chance because he's more of a t normal character so much. Um, I don't, I don't know if you'll see Wheelie. I think you know he's not a very, he, he's uh, popular to be hated. A lot of people love to hate Wheelie. Personally, I like Wheelie. To be fair, yes, indeed, his voice is very squeaky and annoying in G One, um, and yes, indeed. I'm looking at it, it's right over here. Yes, indeed. Uh, his little unposable uh, accessory to Studio Series Grimlock is highly disappointing. Um, but in general, I like Wheelie. And, and if you don't, if you want to like Wheelie, search out the Wheelie Spotlight from IDW Comics. And you will get a whole new respect for Wheelie. And it makes you think about. And when you read that comic, it's basically about things he goes through to survive on this alien planet. And you don't really think about it when you watch Transformers the movie. Even all these years later, you don't think about it. But here's this little Autobot dude surviving by himself on Quintessa. Hot Rod and Cup didn't make it five minutes before they were captured. The Dinobots barely were able to sur survive. I mean, slug... Sl sl Slag about, uh, stepped into a uh, uh, pit of spikes until Grimlock smacked them out while they were arguing over cesium, salami, and brilliant baloney. But meanwhile, little Wheelie has been surviving on that planet for who knows how long. He knows where everything is. Hey, big dinosaur dudes, I know where your friends are. Just help get me off of here. So, um, you know, Wheelie's underrated, man. You know, Wheelie is underrated. Um, especially in the IDW. IDW really redeems that character. So if they bring Wheelie in with his IDW persona, oh yeah, I'm all I'm all for that. 
could they do him as a combat bot? I would not want to see him as a combat bot. But again, this kind of opens him up for being a combat bot because that's basically what he is right here. He's basically Grimlock's combat bot. So, but yeah. Uh, but no, I, I don't think we'll see Wheelie. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, so, let's see. Well, honestly, you get it. yeah. See, when I go on some of those rants like that, I do miss a lot of comments on there. Um, can you please reply? We need Jaguar, the lower torso of Lyle Kaiser. Not going to happen. If they were going to do it, they'd have done it. So, sorry. I almost kind of wish they actually addressed that, kind of like they addressed Groove. Uh, like when Defensor came out, they actually uh, called out Groove. You know that Groove died. Luke, oh my goodness, dude, you want Beachcomber? Yes. Yes. I, 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 de I agree. Beachcomber would be cool. That's, a, that's, a hard, that's another hard one, though, because Beachcomber is kind of a pacifist. And you like the, you know, we think of the Golden Lagoon episode, and we're like, yeah, Beachcomber with the Golden Lagoon, that's his episode, and it totally was. But not because of him, his battling. I, the, the, you know, I almost shed a tear whenever I watch that at the end where he's sitting down very very sad when he's looking around at all of the destruction and he just kind of very dejectedly says we won so so i you know so th that's kind of hard kind of a hard one because uh, beachcomber going in there and having some kind of an awesome ability doing crazy damage is kind of opposite of what that character is so that's probably one you know that might be why they're holding off on him I mean, I'd love to see him in there too. I would, I, I'm a fan of Beachcomber. I like Beachcomber, um, but it's kind of hard about the, uh, you know, him being kind of a pacifist, and then he's gonna, gonna come in here and be a, uh, um, you know, it's all about you know fighting and violence, and that's really not in his nature. And he's not a medic. He was a geologist or a me metallurgist, maybe. I think on Cybertron, it's essentially the same thing. So, but uh, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure how they would. Uh, I'm not sure how they would do Beachcomber and stay true to his personality. I think if they knew how to uh, be true to his personality, they would have. Uh, we would have seen him when they brought in the Golden Lagoon course. And. Uh, does somebody say it's like uh, Beachcomber give him uh, the uh, a Golden Lagoon ability? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't think it, I don't think Beachcomber ever fully doused him in Electrum, which is what the Golden is. He put his hand in, so he had the gold hand, uh, to, and that basically is how he verified it. But I don't think, if I'm recalling correctly, I don't think he ever took a dive in there. I don't think he ever fully coated himself like a lot of the other Autobots and Decepticons did. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, it makes for an awesome scene where they're all gold and shiny and having that uh, fight and then you end up with like uh, uh, the figures, like the uh, Golden Lagoon figures, like, uh, yeah, pulling over the shoulder, you can't see it, but uh, Goldemus Prime is back there. I got some of the other ones over here. We actually do have a gold beachcomber, give me a second. We've seen him before, but I don't think we ever saw him dipped fully in gold uh, in the episode. I mean, here he is right here. Um, so, so it definitely was a cool episode to give us really cool uh, gold-plated, you know, shiny toys like this. And, uh, the, of course, the Golden Lagoon Core in the game, too. But, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't think he, I don't think he fully uh, took a dive. Yeah, the Gold Hand of Death. He, yeah, he's, he's basically going around protecting himself, kind of like Winter Soldier. Just putting his hand out and blocking the bullets and, and the laser blasts, you know? Spinister would be cool. Yes, I agree. Spinister would be cool. Spinister was another one of my favorites, uh, probably just because I had the G1 toy. And uh, I thought the name was cool. Because it's like sinister, but it's a spit. But they put the P in there because it's a helicopter, and helicopter blades spin, so it's spinister. 
And uh, yeah, I've always kind of been uh, uh, a fan of Spinister. And, um, you know, because I had the G1, I got the uh, Transformers Collector Club version of them, which was basically like Alpha Bravo, but within Spinister colors. And then, of course, he came out with Siege. Uh, I actually almost brought him in there because I, ju I just put some Toy Hack stickers on him. I almost actually brought him in here to sh show off tonight, but I didn't. So. Yeah, G Goldimus Prime is actually still in the place where I did the other, where, where I used to do the stream. So that's over, that's back over there in that corner. He's still over there on that shelf. If I moved everything back over there with that with that behind me, you'd still see him. In fact, pretty much everybody that was on that shelf when I moved over here uh, is still on that shelf. You know, Star Saber's over there. Uh, Watermelon Mirage. If you if you look real close, right there, you can pick out Watermelon Mirage, and Fort Max, and uh, that's that uh, Computron, a third party uh, Quantron. So. Will Chrome Down and Highbrow come into the game? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, this is certainly uh, certainly a possibility. Almost, yeah, almost, almost any character uh, for that you can think of is going to be a possibility. Almost, almost. You know, like normal, like normal, you know, character that you see in the shows fairly regularly. Um, you know, other things that people talk about, um, like brawn, uh, gears. You know, those are those are a couple of uh, I wouldn't say popular, but more um, well known and characters uh, that tend to show up. That they're regulars in the TV show. There's the uh, beachcomber in his buggy mode. Broadside, yeah, Broadside's another one that they have a, they, you know, how are they going to bring in a, an aircraft carrier when you're fighting in the desert or in, in a field, you know? Whirl and Spinister would be a cool pairing. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Whirl's another one that hasn't come in. Whirl and Spinister would definitely be a cool pairing. I mean, they're, they're, they're both uh, they're both helicopters and they're both kind of nuts. Yeah, I'd be I'd be down for a Whirl and Spinister pairing. You know what they would have to do with broadside? They, they, they would have to do something like what, uh, who was, who was it? Fans project, I think, when they did a, a Salter. It was a third, third party version of broadside. Uh, so he was kind of a jet and then his aircraft carrier mode was more of like a flying aircraft carrier, like a helicarrier kind of thing. But even then that's so huge compared to all these other, other things. So that would be tough. And yeah, that, if they ever do that, they'd probably uh, bring, they'd probably uh, pair him with Tidal Wave, like you said. Um, because back in, what was it, Titan's Return, uh, you had broad, Broadside, uh, a figure, and they also had, it was one of the, in one of those sets, they uh, recolored him into Tidal Wave. So. <laughs> uh, Luke, uh, yeah, um... I have no idea what I'll do. Thank you, thank you for those donations. I'll, I'll figure figure something out to do. Um, honestly, mo most of the stuff that I get in from uh, YouTube uh, goes into funds for more equipment. Um, so uh, I, I think think I might uh, need to move forward a little bit more with uh, like a stage two. Stage one was kind of getting this set up. Um, but I am hearing you guys saying that you, you like the uh, the original background where there was some more more stuff behind me, not so much this uh, 
the way I have this. Uh, so, so I'm considering that. Um, but one of the things I wanted to do was also have like a second camera um, to, to uh, do this uh, so, so that I could actually give you like a, like a standard review um, where, where I have a figure in front of me or whatever I'm doing a review. Um, but doing something like that on a live stream uh, is not really possible with this co computer bringing in two cameras at the same time uh, just because when I bought it, that wasn't something I was thinking about doing. I wanted to do the live streams, but one camera was all I was thinking. I wasn't thinking of doing more than that, which means in addition to a second camera, I need additional gear, either a, a totally new computer with, with like a specialized card, which that's crazy expensive, or I've been kind of researching some other alternatives, which bring, uh, it's a little less flexible than being able to bring everything direct into the computer uh, so that's kind of what's really slowed me down is how exactly can I do this and still kind of fit the workflow to where it's not too uh, difficult to do as a single person I mean, if I had a second person doing producing or something like 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 what you get some people do when they're uh, live streaming you know uh, like, like especially companies you'll see something and you so or TV shows it's basically the same kind of deal uh, you got the people doing the show or whatever, and then you got people in in the uh, control room. They're the ones pushing the buttons, flipping between this camera and that camera, and stuff like that. I'm doing all of that right here, so I'm trying to keep it as simple for 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 me to do. And uh, so uh, doing doing that doing the workaround where I don't get a whole new computer is uh, uh, going to introduce a, a an extra step or two into the workflow. So I got to kind of figure that out. But that that's where those donations will be going is towards uh, things like that uh, totally uh, again thank you so much uh, for that very very generous so yeah Optimus Prime saying I did that did that with the old overlay yes I did but here's here's how um, one one of the cameras was the webcam which was which but the, the good cameras like I'm using now to give you this uh, this good quality, that's not coming in as a webcam. It doesn't. It, it's coming in through uh, like a HD video type of a deal, uh, not a webcam. So I was able to do that with the old overlay, and I could do it with this one too, uh, using a good camera for one, and then the webcam, which is not as good quality for the other. Uh, but that's not what I want. I want to improve. Uh, so I don't want to... Kind of, that would be taking a step back doing that. So I've got the good camera set up as my main camera. And I want to get a, another good camera with a good lens for, for the review. Uh, so that's kind of what I've been saving for. And again, not just that camera. I'm going to need some additional equipment to go along with that camera. So the two good cameras can work together. So a little behind the scenes talk there. But uh, that, that's the deal. That's, yeah. So. <sighs> oh my goodness, look at the time. We got a lot of, uh, got a lot to talk about tonight, didn't we? And uh, I, th I think uh, Luke's generous donations definitely helped uh, keep the excitement going, helped keep, keep things going. Um, yeah. I did notice on uh, my mouth starting to get a little dry, <laughs> and y'all y'all are dropping off and uh, <laughs> and everything. Uh, man, yeah. So, yeah, I I, I uh, definitely need to move forward with uh, some more some more of this stuff. It's been on my mind. I try not to talk about it too much. Um, but uh, it's been on my mind. It has. Along with everything else. <laughs> All right. Uh, energy reserves are, are low. The, uh, the low fuel light is on in my brain. It's uh, <laughs> time to get on out of here. Uh, thank you again uh, to everybody uh, for, for sticking around this long. Thank you again uh, to Luke for the generous donations. And uh, that's going to do it. I'm Engineer Hoist. Keep well, my friends. See you next time.